Hello? I just realized I start all of my videos like I don't know if they're starting. Also, I know the number one tip for YouTubers is not to look in the viewfinder, but here I am looking at the viewfinder. How's everybody doing? Today we're doing an arts and crafts project. I will be, as you can guess by the title of this video, customizing my lactate bottle. This is by no means sponsored, although I really wish it was because I have spent an ridiculous amount of money on lactate over the last years of being lactose intolerant um and you know this is my favorite kind of lactate the ones that come in bottles but i have to say lactate you could do better on the packaging so what i'm gonna do is customize my lactate bottle so that way when i take it out people are like oh shit like what's that and you can just be like oh you know it's my lactate and they'll be like that's a cool container be like yeah you know i need to take it so that way i don't erupt later on in the day after I drink some milk. Yeah, if you want to customize your lactate bottle with me, you are free to do that. I am currently painting a white layer over the label that I realized that I could peel off, but I didn't want to have that weird residue sticky stuff or really have to worry about taking it off either. So we're just gonna keep painting a white layer over here. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll figure out the design afterwards. I have a hair dryer I'm gonna be using to speed dry all of this paint. Um, yep. This video was totally a last minute idea because I've been wanting to do this for a while and I haven't yet. So this is an excuse for me to do said project for other people, apparently, as well. Let's dive into the base lever. The what base lever? The base layer. I'm talking like I'm giving a science tutorial. If you do these hand motions, it is proven that your point gets across better. It's raining outside though. We're doing some crafts. This is gonna be really nice. Oh, I look like Enya in the Don't Be Shy, put some more video. Don't be shy, put some, put some more. more. So sorry, Lactate. Here we go. Painting over the Lactate logo. The Lactate logo. I'm really excited about having a custom Lactate bottle. Crafting is such a pro gamer move. <gasps> Guys. Even more than the 50% that I already am. We will now do the last layer of white paint. I um, did a goof. I accidentally turned on my hair dryer too high and my paintbrush flew into my white paint, but it's okay. Let's talk about the lore of my lactose intolerance. There really isn't any of that, but I'm gonna make it more dramatic than it already is because my life has no drama, so I make it where I can. I have not always been lactose intolerant. What did I just do with my mouth? I used to not be lactose intolerant. I miss those days very much. I used to bloat, gloat, now I bloat. Used to gloat about how cheese and milk was my favorite food and that I couldn't imagine a life where someone would be lactose intolerant and how painful that existence must be. Ironically, I eventually became lactose intolerant. So ever since then, I have been a prolific taker of lactate and a consumer, not only physically, but economically as well. So I figured that making a custom lactate bottle, it would be like my own personal pair of shoes or someone making nice jewelry for themselves. We have our blank lactate bottle. Looks pretty snazzy, got a couple bumps and grooves, but so do I, who doesn't? I was wondering what I was gonna paint on this lactate bottle because it should be something that means a lot to me, I think has sentimental value. And I thought, plants! Why don't I paint some plants on here? I recently had to leave my apartment in New York so that way I could be quarantined in Oakland, California, away from all of my plants sitting in my apartment, of which my lovely neighbor is now watering for me. I miss them. My mom gifted me one of my plants that I have now. The plant is a Monstera Deliciosa, which is like, you know those cool plants that have holes in them? Yeah, it's that one. So I thought maybe I will do some of those leaves because I think that they're really pretty and I want them on my lactate bottle. So I'm gonna sketch that out, but I need some reference photos because even though I love this plant, I don't really trust myself. These will be my test leaves. Um, just trust the process, you know?
All right, so I just finished the green layer on this one leaf and I'm gonna put a lighter green on this one right here. One layer down. I got distracted and I watched TikToks for 30 minutes. So we're gonna go back to painting now. This layer is dry and my lady. Or am I a rat? Am I a rat? Now what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna take this watercolor brush. Artist, please don't get mad at me. I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna put back in the little holes that monsteras have. Cleaning up the edges of the like leaves just a little bit. It's looking better. Nicely done. We have two leaves and I'm gonna put some little darker paint on the like inside of it so that way there's some more definition. Just a little on that inside. I'm also not like a very uh, picture-perfect painter by any means. I think I like when things have more character to them. Perfect things freak me out. That is our, our leaves as they stand right now. I'm actually really happy with these. Even though they don't look perfect, I think they look really cute. And so with that, we have our two Monstera leaves on our lactate bottle. Oh my god. Am I... A painter? I'm just gonna go ham and paint some more leaves on here and I will check in with you guys after I've done that. Okay, so I went through and I painted some more leaves. These are just the base one layer paints and then I did some white over top of them so that way they have all the holes like a Monstera has. And now I'm gonna go use the hairdryer and I will add some shades, some shadows, and some highlights to it and then I'll show you that. I have done it. I have customized my lactate bottle to be my plant Brad Leone. I came here, I did what I said I would set out to do. I still think that these are the best leaves that I've done, but everything else is very much adequate. I would very much encourage other people to do this with their belongings because then you become sentimentally attached to your piece of art, but it also serves a function. So I will be carrying this lactate bottle around with me for the foreseeable future. Um, I hope this video was kind of entertaining. I know it's not particularly uh, helpful because not many people are going to be painting their lactate bottles, but this is what I did to mine. Um, if you would like to customize your lactate bottle and paint it, please do tag me in a photo of it because I would love to see it or whatever you customize, because um, here's mine. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.